Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another Baby Born Surprise Mini Babies unboxing. This is our Series 3 Mini Babies. And in here you get two or three babies. And this actually becomes like a little train wagon thing. These are a little tighter wrapped than our cribs were, but they are very cool. Here's the UPC for anybody who's interested in these. These retail for $9.99 and they are pretty cute. This is my first time opening series three. So once we get the, uh, the first of them out, we will figure out which ones we were wanting. So again, there's the UPC on the bottom. It just comes off like that. These are made by Zap and MGA. Okay. And then it becomes a little carriage under there. Lots of things to take out from under there. But these little wheels spin. So that's great, except for this one for some reason. Well, maybe this side doesn't spin. A little weird, considering they should. Oh, there we go. Okay, now they spin. They were just pushed in, so they didn't spin. Um, the duck has some instructions. As you can see, it does have a little uh, Pull out here in the front, just like this, and you can push it in from the bottom, and it hooks on to the back part of the next duckling. So once we get all three of these out, we can assemble that. And let's look and see which ones we've got as our choices from this one. The Baby Surprise dolls do have an activity sheet on the other side of your little info sheet. And these are the ones we can get. We've got Sweet Treat Tim, Twins, Party Triplets, Frosting Twins. Uh, I really want to see this, uh, the Milky Way Twins. They look super cute. Or like the little woodland ones. Oh, this one's dressed like a little gnome, and I want him. What are still be odd. <laughs> okay, let's see which ones we got. So... As always, there is a little staple holding things closed because toy companies hate just having things readily available. Um, and then we do have our little ribbon. And of course the wrapping on this is a blanket that we can use for other things. And let's see, oh, we've got something. It looks like we've got the starry triplets, I think. But let's look at this blanket. Isn't that cute? That is a cute blanket. And these are big. Like, these are big enough to cover a full-size doll, uh, which I love. So let's see. So yes. Okay. So it is the starry triplets. So we will look at these. Let's see which ones they look like up close. Okay. Here is our first girl. And they do have the articulated arms and legs and heads. Like these are some of the best articulated babies. And the only thing I wish is that they had real clothes that fit them. Um, but that's, you know, kind of beside the point. We're not gonna get that most likely on dolls this small. Um, we put her right there in the little swaddle thing. Here's her sister in the sun. Very cute. And they have these little pockets that you can slide them into in there. And then our last one over here is a little angel with clouds. The only thing I wish is that these wings were detachable, but so cute. Oh, 
I love it. Yes, darling, give me more of the little babies. So cute. And they do have a little like keychain holder thing. Uh, so that is our first set of babies. So we're gonna push them back there for now. And we're gonna look at our next set because these are super cute. Uh, again, the same thing. There's no differentiation in the packaging. Uh, it's just, you know, they're wrapped up inside. There's not really an easy way to tell uh, which one you're gonna get. Like there's no codes or anything like that. It's a random assortment in the boxes. Um, I'm sure there is a code somewhere, but it's not readily accessible like it is on the uh, like it is on the Barbie color reveal ones. But we will see. So here is our second set. Again, same things. On the inside, here is our other one right there. Let me show you guys how they clip together. And they just snap in like that. And then we can go like that. Bada boom. Very cute. Okay. And now we're going to snap this little staple, which I'm glad it's the only one that's a staple, but I still hate the staples. Uh, and again, the same blankets. I wish the blankets were separate, but that would be too much of a giveaway, I think. Uh, oh, we got, oh, we got the mushroom. Yes, I love the mushroom. It's so cute. That is stupid cute. Okay, so let's see what our little mushroom babies look like. Oh, there she is. There's our first one. Oh, so cute. I'm gonna put that one in her little pouch. And we're gonna look at this one, which is the gnome. Oh, I'm so excited for the gnome. That is so cute. Like. Look at that. That is just like the definition of cuteness. You can tell the like the knitted detail on her hat. Like, it's so cute. I'm so here for that. So, I'm glad. So, I got one of the ones that I like really wanted. And, uh, and then one of the triplets. I'm going to get this last one open. And take these last ones out. And again, don't forget to uh, take out the little duckling thing and attach it like that so now we have a three train thing and these are so cute okay so I wonder what the last one is gonna be uh, and again at ten dollars a pop I don't think I will go back and get more in a random assortment uh, especially since I got like the little like the little garden gnome one that I wanted uh, but there are nine to collect oh, and it looks like we got the birthday cake one okay so twins again I do like how it's never just like one baby so here's what so cute she looks like a little cupcake And then here is the other one. Oh, and she looks like ice cream. I love it. 
like, these are so cute. And they are the right size for Barbies. I'll show you guys that in just a second. Uh, I wanna show you how I would put the blankets back in there. So if I was going to put all three babies back in there, I just fold them up into like a square and sort of like drape it around on the inside so it looks more like a lining. Uh, but these are super cute little blankets too, you know? And you can just kind of scrunch them in there if you want. And you would just put through little babies like that. Just hanging out in their little, uh, their little ducky trailers. Just like that. <laughs> and they look super cute. And you can just kind of drag them around. And all their wheels turn. And it's super cute. I just wish they had a little... You could probably use the front one as a pull. Uh, so we did get one from each of the little, like, uh, series ones. So we did get the one up here, and then the one here, and then the one down here. Um, so. It's pretty good. I, I liked it. I like it. We got one of each of the, uh, the, like, actually, I don't think we did get all the skin tone variances. I think this one down here is really pale compared to the others. But. They're still very cute. All the babies are adorable. Uh, let me show you compared to a Rainbow High doll. So here is my Avery, who is my like, my basic girl. So these are really an appropriate size to be considered, you know, babies for them. These are definitely like newborns or toddlers. Uh, well, not newborns, they're definitely babies. Uh, but, so they're the right size, which is important. Because sometimes the uh, baby dolls that we see out are not actually the appropriate size to go with any dolls that would be the adults in their lives. Uh, again, here's a regular Barbie. If I was going to put one with her, so the right size, it's actually a tall Barbie. But yeah, I mean, they look good. They're the right size. They're in cute little outfits for babies, so you don't have just like the diaper. Like we have a lot of uh, just diapers with Mattel babies. And you don't really get outfits till you get to the Chelsea dolls. Uh, but... And then some of the weird little, like, molded plastic toddler dolls. Uh, but these are very cute. Again, uh, $9.99 at Walmart is where I picked, or not Walmart, Target is where I picked mine up. And they're really cute. They're fun. They've got these little uh, backpack clips that you can use after the fact. Um, but they're super cute. So, again, these are by Zap and MGA. Zap Creations. Uh, so, Baby Born. It's really cute. They do have a new one that's, like, in a, uh, in a bunny. But I'm not sure what the size of those are, because the bunny's, like, this big, and it only comes with one baby. And I'm like, I don't just want one baby for that price. And I think they're actually going to be, like, double the size. So it doesn't uh, doesn't work with my with my size that I want. So if you guys have any questions on these, leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings because I've got a few more videos to shoot today. All right, y'all. Be good. Bye. <laughs>